Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, you guys have been waiting for it. I know you've been waiting for it. It is my official review and comparison of Chasing Fireflies. Yes, Chasing Fireflies. I kind of, um, I'm in the part today. We went to a medieval fair today, so, um, the green eyes were definitely giving fairy-esque there today. So I thought, what other better day to do Chasing Fireflies than today, right? Right? So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, let's just jump right into this, you guys. Scent notes on Chasing Fireflies is golden pear, jasmine blooms, and illuminated woods. I like this. Like, I like this a lot. I get a lot of the jasmine. It definitely is a floral. I can detect pear, but it's very muted. It's in the background. And I'm assuming illuminated woods is some type of a wood note. If I had to guess, I would say sandalwood, orgaic wood. I do love this a lot. It's like a perfect transitional scent from summer into fall. I love when they do transitional scents. I think, uh, Fairy Tale was released as a transitional, Dahlia, Fall in Bloom. They've all been good. So why would this not be good? And honestly, I, I, I think it's really, really good. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It does have a bit of powderiness to it, but it's not overly powdery. It's almost like an aldehyde type of a scent or a benzoin that's in there. But it's beautiful. It definitely gives me high-end perfume vibes. It also reminds me of a high-end perfume. Or at least it could be a cousin to it. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a good one. Uh, I'm not really sure. If, if you don't like floral, I'm not 100% positive if you would like this because the floral is the predominant note. I happen to be a massive lover of jasmine, so... I absolutely adore this. The cream is just as strong, in my opinion. I have been wearing this now for probably, I want to say four or five days before I felt comfortable enough to really give it a review because my initial take on her was not what I think today, which is crazy. Yeah, I love this. The cream, I don't think, is as heavy as the spray. I think this spray is gorgeous. The absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But now let's get into these reviews. I know that's what you're waiting for, the reviews. Okay, y'all, I saw on Instagram, there was someone comparing it to Tom Ford's, uh, to Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge. And I don't have the original Tom Ford. However, I do have the Dossier Dupe which they call it floral jasmine. Scent notes are neroli, cardamom, bergamot, and pepper, jasmine, sambac, lang lang, broom flower, laudanum, clary, sage, and vanilla. Now, <laughs> jasmine rouge is heavy, heavy jasmine. The jasmine, the same jasmine note is in both of them. However, Chasing Fireflies has that sandalwood, gaic wood note in the background. And the pear, even though the pear is not stand up right in the front, I still can detect it in there. Whereas with Jasmine Rouge, it is straight jasmine sweetness. The yumminess, the sweetness of jasmine. Like, 100% floral, just floral. I don't really get a lot of these other notes in here. I, I do get a tiny bit of bergamot. But I don't really get laudanum or sage or vanilla. I do pick up neroli. So it's mostly neroli and jasmine. But it's beautiful. I love this fragrance. The, top, the Dossier Dupe is floral jasmine. I highly recommend this one. Get you some floral jasmine. Another one I wanted to compare it to that I'm hearing 
all over TikTok primarily I saw it, was Dahlia. It was being said that it was a dupe for Dahlia or a repackage of Dahlia. <laughs> I have thoughts. Scent notes on Dahlia are velvet Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean. No. The answer is no. Dahlia, in my opinion, is a spot-on body spray dupe for Caroline Herrera's Good Girl, and I love it. Oh, my God, it's so good. Uh. Dahlia is, <laughs> this is definitely not chasing fireflies. Bruh, it's not. It's not. Dahlia, you do get the pear, but I pick up praline in here super heavy, in my opinion. The whipped tonka bean, there is that floral component to it, but this is a sweeter floral. It's much sweeter than Chasing Fireflies is. Chasing Fireflies is more of an earthen flower. Yes, it's a, an earthen flower with that, the wood, the woody notes is what really brings that out. Oh, but it's so beautiful. Medallia is gorgeous too. Oh my God. Dahlia is absolutely beautiful. I really wish they would bring her back, but they did not bring her back in Chasing Fireflies. Ma'am, they did not. Oh my God, it's so good. They really do need to bring Dahlia back because she was banging, banging, baby, banging that booty right down the road. She's that, she's that banging. She's that, she's that broad. I'm telling you, she's that broad. Now, another one, I actually saw this on Fragrantica that they were saying that Chasing Fireflies was a dupe, a body spray dupe of La Via Belle. Now, I had La Via Belle. I'm out of the original, but I do have the Dossier version. I have a lot of Dossier scents. I want to say I've got like 30 right now. So your girl has a lot of Dossier. But uh, La Via Belle is Gourmand Orange Blossom. Scent notes are Orange Blossom, Black currant, hazelnut, oris, jasmine, sambac, patchouli, praline, vanilla, and tonka bean. Absolutely not. <laughs> that girl who was saying this on Fragrantica, baby, your nose is busted. It's busted, baby. She ain't working right. No, no, no. No. This, chasing fireflies, I definitely get the jasmine in it. Whereas La Via Belle, I don't pick up Jasmine. I do, however, pick up the Orange Blossom, very heavy. I don't get Hazelnut. I do get Oris. I get a tiny bit of Jasmine in here, but it's not Jasmine heavy. And then the Praline and the Vanilla and the Tonka Bean. But La Via Belle is completely different. Very whimsical and uh, girly. Very, very girly. Whereas Chasing Fireflies does not give that vibe whatsoever. It to me it's it's you know what Chasing Fireflies is and it's it's very aptly named. I envision running through dewy grass. The dew has just fallen in the evening, and the lightning bugs are just coming out, and there's still like a humidity warmth in the air, almost like it's down south. And that smell in the air of the earth saying good night to the sun and you can still smell the flowers in the fields and you're running around and your feet are wet from the dew and you're chasing fireflies, ironically. And that earth and smell coming up from the ground, that is what this smells like. Yes, absolutely. That is what chasing fireflies smells like is exactly what I just depicted It what it makes me think of. Now, <laughs> There were two scents that originally came to mind for me when I smelled this. And I did see a lot of people saying that they were comparing it to Fairy Tale. Yes, Fairy Tale, which I kind of was like, when I first smelled it, I was going, is this? Is this? Is, is it? Fairy Tale is pomegranate nectar. Fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. 
No, it's not. Because when I initially thought that, and but once I got my sniffer on it, no, it's not. It's not. I absolutely get the pomegranate in this 100%. It's the very first note that smacks me in the face. The orange blossom is second. I don't really get vanilla from this, but I do get that amber note, which is a beautiful note. But y'all, this is not chasing fireflies. I, I don't, I'm really, really, really? No. The answer is no. Completely different, y'all. The pomegranate in this is so heavy. To my nose, it is very heavy, and it is nothing like chasing fireflies. Now, this has a fruitier vibe to it. Would I say that maybe they're like second or third cousins? Maybe. Their packaging is both prettily green, but that's about all they have in common, baby. That's it. That's it. So everybody out there who's saying that this is fairy tale, they are lying to you. It is not fairy tale. No. Now the one I immediately thought of when I smelled this. I don't have the OG version. I do have the Juliana's Perfume dupe, and it is called Scarlet Letter. And this is Juliana's dupe of Alien Essence Absolute Mugler. Let me read you the notes on Alien Essence. Jasmine. Cashmere wood, orris root, vanilla, white amber, myrrh, and incense. This to me is, first of all, let me say, this is super strong. I get mad compliments on this all day. Anytime I wear Alien Essence Absolute, the Juliana's version, I get mad compliments. Now, if this was not as strong and projecting as it was, if like if it was more subdued, it would smell a lot like this. A lot. Like I would say, I would even go so far as to say half siblings. Yes, they definitely have the same mama. They may not got the same daddy, but they definitely got the same mama. The jasmine note is identical in them. Identical. But the wood notes in here are slightly different. And in the Alien Essence Absolute, I'm able to also pick up a tiny bit of that myrrh and incense which obviously is not in Chasing Fireflies. So the wood notes are slightly different in these, but the jasmine notes are very much the same. Do I think that these would pair absolutely beautiful together? 100, in fact, let's, let's, <laughs> let's just do that. I'm going to tell you something. This sucker is a stunner. A showstopper stunner, baby, 100%. Let's let that dry down a bit. I'm telling you, Alien Essence Absolute, I get mad compliments. I'm talking mad compliments. <sighs> yeah, y'all, you better pair these together because if you don't, you're missing out. You're missing out. You're missing out. Yes. Scarlet Letter and Chasing Fireflies. Gorgeous. In fact, I really think the Chasing Fireflies brings out the beautiful Jasmine in Alien Essence Absolute. Oh my God. It's good, y'all. It's good. Delicious, yummy, yum, yum, yum. Oh, yes. So that is my thought on this, that these two are most definitely half siblings. They're definitely in the same family. It was the first thing I thought of when I smelled this was Alien Essence Absolute. It was absolutely the first thing I thought of. Yes, because they mingle and mesh almost like they were made for each other. 
honestly. The only difference is, is that this is not super strong and projecting like this is. But that same jasmine note and the, the woodiness of it is what makes me think of this one. So that is my final thought on that. Did you get your sniffer on Chasing Fireflies yet? What do you think? I want to know what you think. Make sure you tell me what you think down below, baby. Definitely do. And uh, yeah, that's everything I have for today, you guys. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time I upload. Other than that, y'all, I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.